She gets in a position to talk to him. She gets down on her knees to talk to him. Sometimes we got to get in a position. Sometimes we're not in a position to pray to him. She, she got in a position. She bowed down to him. Yeah. Woo! She bowed down to him, humbled herself at his feet, and gave him the worship he deserves. And, and he appeals to him for help she needs. She got down on his level. Yeah. Now she hears Jesus compare her to a dog, and, and a Jew looked at a non-Jewish people as dogs, but it's the use of the metaphor of people who are, they said, unclean, uh, you know, unclean, but we're going to skip all that. But, but can you see how Jesus took this woman and her small faith and led her along and helped her grow in her faith? Did the obstacle of faith almost always turn into opportunities in disguise? When we continue to seek the Lord in spite of every hindrance, we will eventually see him do what we need him to do. You know a lot of people who have given up. <laughs> Jesus ignored her. He, the disciples played the race card. and Jesus even compared her to the dog, but yet she persisted. Most folks would have thrown up their hand and, and stormed out and said, I'm through with it. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm not going to ask him anymore. But she persisted in spite of everything that was thrown in her way. Why? Because she... Had, she, she had too much at stake. She, her daughter was at, at stake. Sometimes we have to do something because we got something at stake. We, we got to do it because we need to do it. She needed help and she was determined to get it. I thought about who was wrestling with the angel. Was it Jacob? He wrestled with her all night long. He said, I'm not going to turn you loose until you what? Bless me. Sometimes we got to wrestle with it. We got to talk to him. And Lord, I'm not going away until you bless me, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. But Jesus had tested her faith with the hard words. Her faith has risen to the challenge. Her, her faith exceeded that of the people he had come to save. He rewarded her faith by giving her exactly what she asked for. He healed her daughter. Her faith was so strong, she didn't ask for proof, but she took Jesus at his word and turned around and went home with her family. Sometimes you got to take the Bible at the word, at the word. You got to believe every word that you read because it's written, that means it, how I take it as, at his word. Amen. What a blessing, what a challenge. Hallelujah. Take heart today. There is hope. Today might be your day when the master responds to your call. Today might be the day when you see the mountain move in your life. Today might be the day when you come to him and call on him to be saved. Today may be the day when God speaks to you in your soul and says, it's going to be all right. I, I, I've taken care of it. It's going to be all right. Ain't everything going to be all right. Today may be the day when peace replaces your pain and, and you get the help you need. Look, there's, look, there's Jairus. He placed his daughter in the hand of Jesus, and Jesus raised her from the dead. Look, there is Lazarus. Look, four days in the tomb, and, and Mary Magdalene placed him in the hand of Jesus, and Lazarus lived. Look, there's a multitude that needs to be fed, but they had no food. But, but what did Jesus say? A few loaves and a few, a few loaves of bread and fish placed in the hand of Jesus. And son, everybody had enough. Yeah. Look down at the disciples in, in, in the boat in the storm, in the middle of the, of the lake, and in the, in the day at night, in the dark of the night, and they was afraid they was going to die. They placed themselves in the hand of Jesus, and they arrived safely to the shore. Look, there's a leopard, and he is healed. There's a blind man, now he can see. There's a deaf man, now he can hear. There's a crippled man, he's walking and jumping and shouting, coming into the sanctuary. There's a man possessed, possessed with a demon in the, in the graveyard, sitting still and talking about, can I follow you, Jesus? Hallelujah. He said, go back to your family. Hallelujah. Look, there is Jesus. He's hanging on the cross. He is dead. They take his body down and place him in a grave. Look, for three days there is nothing happening, but hope is gone and appears evil has won. But wait a minute, wait a minute, something happened on the third day. Yeah. But wait, he lives. Mm -hmm. Jesus lives in my soul. He lives in your soul. He's living today. Yeah. Oh, 
if you could just see these things and hallelujah. That's just a small sample of what he can do that truly he can answer your prayers. Surely he can save your lost loved one. He can save your soul. He can, he can surely he can forgive you and restore you to that place of fellowship. He can take whatever's wrong in your life. He can make it right. Surely he can do that. Surely Jesus can do whatever you ask yeah. him to do. Right. Got to have the faith, hallelujah. Amen. Have the faith in spite of the test. Yeah. The test may be hard sometimes, but just believe there is a God. He, has, he will answer my prayer. Right. I done tried it many times. Yeah. Prayed about some things. Took time, long time. But they all came when yeah. it was God time and not your time. Yeah. He made that call when you want to be right on time. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Faith in spite of the test. Yeah. There's always a test when you're of your faith. Yeah. But you got to do a little something before he answers your prayers. Mm-hmm. You got to holler. You got to stay there yeah. for a little while. That's right. Got to stay there a little while. So when he answered the prayer, he said, surely this must have been God. Yeah, right. Must have been the hand of Christ. Because yeah. nobody else could do it like my Lord. Yeah, right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Faith in spite of the test. God bless you.